all right hello hello welcome to heal in a center row so i hope everyone is doing well today is going to be a general love reading so keep in mind it is general it may or may not resonate um take it if it does leave it if it doesn't if you guys want to book something personal with me my information is down below in the description box i also have online courses guided meditations and spiritual products the twin flame messages deck being the newest one as well as the heart shop for singing bowls okay so what is the overall theme what is going on with you and this person right now let's take a look we've got tribe okay it could be a love triangle right off the bat guys that's what i'm getting we've got offer okay so oh and we have regret wow okay so i'm actually getting a really clear message right off the bat here this feels like someone who might have chose someone else over you, might have gone into a third party or might have been involved in a third party and now they're wanting to, now they're feeling regret about this and they're wanting to come back around to you. This person is wanting to make you an offer um, and they're feeling regret. I feel like they're thinking, yeah, I just saw the six of cups. So I feel like this person's thinking a lot about the past, thinking that they might have made the wrong decision. All right, so who is this person? Who is this person on my viewer's mind? Who is this person, Spirit? Yeah, they're in their head about it, guys. We got the Nine of Swords. This person's in their head about you right now, stressed out. I feel like this came out, was it yesterday's reading too? Like the, all these people recently, it's like the collective energy. These people are very stressed out. Um, like look at this energy, right? Look at how this person here has their hand on their head. Same energy, see that? Two hands, two hands on the face, covering the face, feeling regret, stressing out, like, why did I do this? Why? Um, let's actually find out what this regret is about, okay? But definitely they're stressing about you. Clarify regret. Clarify regret. Yeah, they're in their head. They feel like they want to come back around to you. They feel like they made the wrong decision and now they want to come back. But some of them are wondering whether or not they can come back to you. That's the problem. So they're in their head about this. I'm seriously getting because the Six of Swords in, in reverse. This is my card of I can't stop thinking about someone. And with the fact that it's paired with the Nine of Swords, strongly this person can get you out of their mind. But mainly it's like they keep thinking about how they, they effed up. They messed up here. Okay. Um, clarify this tribe energy. Clarify this tribe energy here. Why is tribe here? The strength in reverse. Um, let me get one more. We got Leo energy here and the King of Cups. Okay. This person might have had doubts about their feelings for you in the past. So they might have um, went off with someone else or maybe chose someone else. And I think it's because they weren't, they were doubting their feelings. Strength here in reverse. It could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right, so what is their energy towards you right now? What is this person's current energy towards you right now? We've got the world. This person's putting you on a pedestal. Look at this world card. Yeah, they're really putting you on a pedestal. Oh my gosh, look at this. We've got the three of cups. Like I said, so I definitely feel like there's someone else involved here. Um, this person is just seeing you in this like this very bright light it's like they're seeing you as kind of rising above them in a sense I feel like they're trying to release this third party energy but I think it's still I feel like it's still here though it's still lingering let's actually take a look at this because it is coming through so strong this third party let's clarify what this is about yeah so there might still be some attachment here we've got the Empress in reverse and we've got yeah there's see look at this two of wands I think if this person has been or is dealing with someone else, they still have to make a decision. I think that there's still attachment to this person or attachment to this person or attachment to the situation. So it's like they feel like they they effed up. They feel like they made the wrong decision, but they may still be attached to this person that they're involved with or connected to. They're seeing you as they're definitely putting you on a pedestal, but the problem is, is that they haven't released this energy. 
Okay, let's actually see what their feelings are for this person. So for those of you who are resonating, I usually don't go into that, but I'm strongly feeling that a lot of you guys are going to um, resonate if you know that you're involved in a third party. So let's see how this person is feeling towards this other person right now. So let's take a look and see. Yeah, they're still giving to it. That's what I was feeling here. I feel like they're still giving to it because they got the Page of Pentacles. Um, so they're still putting a little bit of investment into the situation here. Temperance in reverse, okay? Um, they're a little bit out of balance, but I feel like they're still investing in this or they're still giving to this situation. Page of Pentacles. So be a little bit weary because if this person comes around to make you an offer, they may also be offering to someone else at the same time time is what I'm feeling here so it's like if they're because we have the offer card which is kind of like the page of pentacles so they may be wanting to make you an offer but they may also be offering still to someone else so it's like they're stuck in this energy of regret can't stop thinking about you but also haven't released this attachment so let's what's your energy towards this person what's your current energy towards this person how are you guys feeling about this person? Ace of Cups, it's like you've kind of shut down your emotions here. Ace of Cups in reverse, sorry. Um, some of you are just not opening up to this person or you're just trying to like stuff your feelings down. Yeah, you feel like you might be angry at this person a little bit here. I feel like it's like you're shutting down your heart towards them. Um, you feel like there's a lot of obstacles. You could even feel like, again, there's, there's competition. So you may even feel like you've been competing with other people. Um, there's a sense of challenge here i don't think you guys are giving your your emotions or your heart to this person right now so what's the connecting energy what's the connecting energy three of swords wow yeah so definitely love triangle guys like i'm getting the three of swords you got the three of cups the tribe card i think that because of you know another person being involved here it's caused a lot of heartbreak i think for both of you it's not even just them i think it's also caused heartbreak for um, or sorry, it's caused heartbreak for you and for them. Okay, this has definitely taken a toll. Um, the other challenge I'm seeing here is that confidence has been an issue, um, a lack of confidence. So sometimes when you go into a connection and you're not confident in yourself, it can create a lot of issues. So this could be you or them or both of you guys were dealing with some confidence issues at the time, but I definitely feel like there's still a lot of pain involved here. I feel like the painful energy between the two of you has not cleared. So is this person thinking about you 24-7? Yes. But they are still attached to someone else. And some of you may already know that. What does my viewer need to know about this person's spirit? What does my viewer need to know about this person on their mind? What does my viewer need to know? Okay, so this, pro this person that you're dealing with is going through a process of awakening of ascension here so they are going to mature but right now they are stuck in a cycle okay so it's like if you've been waiting for this person to mature if you've been needing something from them that they haven't been giving you i do think that they're starting to wake up and i think with them seeing you as the world card and putting you on this pedestal it's like this is definitely a driving force for them to start to look at things differently but the cycle card is still coming through so there's like a karmic cycle that they haven't closed so let's clarify this why is cycles here yeah they have to walk away and that's the that's the final closure that this person has to do is whatever this cycle is which i feel like is highly attached to this third party energy that they're involved with because the empress reverse would tell me that there's still an emotional attachment here so they have to walk away from this fully and it's like once they walk away from this they're heading towards if you notice here heading towards the sun and look at here with the ascension card we have the sun so it's like their journey is about walking away from this karmic cycle. Okay. And I honestly think you guys are a driving force for this person. I feel like they can't stop thinking about you. They feel that they made the wrong decision in the past here, but they have to let fully let go of the other energy to be able to come towards you. And I think that's the challenge that they've been having right now. They've been kind of trying to figure out what to do because they're holding on to the past, but they also want to come towards you. So I feel like this person is still giving to this other situation, but they're heartbroken over this and they want to make you an offer here, but they know they have to let go of the past. It seems to me like in the, in the, um, be, in the past between you and this person, I feel like they were really doubting their feelings. So they might've had feelings, but they were like, ah, oh, maybe they're not that strong 
or maybe it's like there was kind of this just this doubt or they were downplaying their feelings for you in the past is what I'm getting here and it's like now that you're gone I feel like this person is now realizing that those feelings that they had were actually real and true and so whatever they chose over you now they have to let go of and that's where they're at right now so let's see where where are my viewers at what do my viewers need to know about themselves right now what do my viewers need to know about themselves right now observer so a lot of you guys may be really checking in on this person a lot um and we have balancing the scales okay let me clarify balancing the scales i feel like spirit is wanting you to maybe not check on this person so much because it may end up throwing you out of balance clarify observer yeah it's too much you guys are like obsessing okay so um we have a capricorn energy here devil with the observer so to me this feels like spirit is acknowledging that you've been checking in on this person a lot you may get to a point where you're obsessing too much about it or you're it's becoming more addictive for you and spirit is really calling you to find some sort of balance okay because this will throw you out of balance and you may already know that so it's like maybe when you watch them or you check in on them or you get information it starts spinning your wheels you start obsessing so spirit is really calling you to kind of release this energy and find some sort of balance here okay um so let's see what's the most likely outcome within the next few weeks what's the most likely outcome between these two spirit within the next few weeks we've got the nine of pentacles someone may be single soon let me see here we've got the hanged men in reverse i think that um yeah we've got the queen of wands and the two of okay so i'm kind of getting a storyline here do I think the two of you are going to be together in the next few weeks? No, but what I will say is this. I feel that if this person has been connected to someone else, they are letting this go. They're going to be single soon for a lot of you guys. And with the hanged man coming through in reverse, it's like if there's been a pause, this is about things starting to move forward. I think eventually you could have something here because we've got the two of cups and the queen of wands. Now, this is whether you want it or not okay um but this is the this is what's coming through as a potential here for you and this person is that you could eventually have something i think in the next few weeks though i'm not really getting anything between you and this person but i am getting that if they have been tied up with someone else it's like they're finally getting free of this and they're finally being independent nine of pentacles because i feel like with the hangman this is where they've been stuck and they're finally letting go and releasing this energy and becoming single because i think that's been a major blockage here for you and this person okay so what's their message for you what's this person's message for you i pushed you away because i was scared so i think in the past like i was saying i think they were kind of downplaying their emotions so they just pushed you away um, and I feel like they got themselves involved with someone else here. Yeah, you mean the world to me. That's exact. Look at this. That's exactly what I was saying here. You mean a lot to this person. Like, I definitely feel like a lot of you guys are driving this person to break free of a karmic cycle here. It's like they know that they want something better for themselves and they're putting you on this kind of pedestal. So, because this is how they see you, the world. And then we literally have you mean the world to me. And I feel like in the past, they just, they just pushed you away. Okay, yeah, we have here, I'm so grateful for you. I don't think a lot of you guys realize how important you are to this person because maybe they didn't treat you that way. Yeah, and I don't want this to be over with us, right? That's why they're in their head about this and that's why they have regrets about it because they don't want to lose you, okay? But I think that they need to close out something first. All right, so what's the advice for my viewers who are resonating with this storyline? What's the advice for my viewers who are resonating with this storyline? King of Wands in reverse. Let's see, clarify. And we've got the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Um, okay, so I feel like a lot of you are being called to not take any action with this King of Wands in reverse. I think the energy that your person's in right now, it won't serve you. You're being called not to invest your time and energy if this person is in this King of Wands energy, okay? Like reversed. Like if, if you're if you're noticing that this person is acting like a player or acting manipulative, don't invest your energy in them. Don't invest your time in this person. Um, I think that you need to give this time because I also saw the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. But I'm just getting to not invest your energy into players or manipulators 
Now, do I think that this person's energy can shift and change? Yes, but I think that right now they need time to break out of that. So if they're in this energy, don't invest your time or don't give to this person when they're in this in this space, in this head space. Because it may only just prolong it or it may just like um, allow them to stay in that and not actually change. Okay, so that is what I have for you guys. So I truly hope that this reading was helpful. If you want to book your own personal reading, my information is down below in the description box. All right, but I'm sending you absolute love and light, and I wish you all the best on your journeys. Take care.